Welcome. So, on today's lesson, we are going to talk about the introductory lesson on LU decomposition. Then we'll talk about the Doolittle and do the formula derivation for the Doolittle's method. So, when you talk about the LU decomposition, it's a direct method for solving systems of linear equation. And in our introductory lecture to um, iterative method, we said that we have two main methods for solving systems of linear equation, direct methods and iterative methods. We said for direct methods, we have the Gaussian elimination and the LU decomposition and the others. So today we are talking about the LU decomposition and we talk about the Doolittle's method. So when we have a system E x equals B, where this is our E matrix, as we can see here, and this is our B matrix, as we can see here. So mostly we are being told to find for our x here and we know we can use Gaussian elimination to do it. What if we are being told to use the LU decomposition? How do you go about things? So to solve our A x equals B, what we do is that we decompose A into a product of L and U where L is a lower triangular matrix and U is an upper triangular matrix. Then we solve you know, this is our L. So we solve LZ equals B for some Y. Remember, the thing was AX equals B. But if you decompose it into L and U, and we are solving for LZ equals B for some Z. Then we solve UX equals the Z that we, we found here for our X. So after doing this, then that means we'll be able to find our X, and that will be the process of our decomposition. So we decompose A into a product of a layer triangular matrix and upper triangular matrix and we solve LZ equals B for some Z, an arbitrary Z. And we solve US equals Z for our X. Right, so let's move on. So formula derivation. So you see this is our E matrix as we stated there. It was given by this particular matrix here. And you know, it is being decomposed into a product of a layer triangular matrix and upper triangular matrix. And you know, that's how we form a lower triangular matrix. So we get something like this, where this part should be zero because it's a lower triangular matrix. Now, for an upper triangular matrix, it is this part which will be what? Zero. So into this product. But right now, the case is how do we find for our L11, L21, L22? So that's what early decomposition is about. How do we get these values here to make sure that we can decompose our E matrix into a product of a lower? A lower and an upper triangular matrix. So, when we get what we had there, we can use three different approaches. So, we have the do little method, the crowds method, and the Koleski method. And for this method, we only use it when our matrix is symmetric and positive definite. So, in this lesson, we'll be talking about the do little method. So, let's see how to go about things with the do little method. So, with the do little method, remember that from um, the previous page, we had E equals LU and this was it, right? So what the do little method does is that for the do little method, we set all diagonal elements in our L, let me come here, in our L matrix to 1. So you see these are L matrix here. So we set all the diagonals to 1. So that means this will be set to 1, this will be set to 1, and this will also be set to 1. So that's what the... Do little's method does so you see hence now we have to realize that this was our e matrix so for our l matrix all the diagonals have been set to one here do you get it and this is our upper triangular matrix the next thing we do is that we do matrix matrix multiplication you know these are two matrices so we do the multiplication and when we do our matrix multiplication we end up with this because see for instance this one will be this row times this column is going to give us just U11. When you do your matrix multiplication, you're going to get this. You realize that there is an equal to sign here. So that means this matrix here, which is 3 by 3, is also equal to this matrix here, which is 3 by 3. So by the equality of matrices, so let's go up. So by the equality of matrices, then this here is equal to, let me use a different ink. Then this here is equal to this here. This is equal to this. This is equal to this. This is equal to the whole of 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 this. This, the whole of this. 
and that's the whole of what this and when you're able to make this comparison then our values for l21 l31 l32 u12 u22 all these will come out then you solve our problem so by equality of matrices our u11 is equal to e1 that's what i just talked about so u12 equals e12 you want to because a13 and all these are their comparisons. So if you realize we'll be able to find out u11, u12, u13, l21, u22, u23, l31, l32, and u22. And when you're able to find this, then that means we are done. We've been able to decompose our matrix A into a product of what? A lower triangular matrix N and upper triangular matrix. I hope you got what you mean. So let me just take a quick review of what we did. So for LU decomposition, what we do is that we have our coefficient matrix A and we want to decompose it into a product of a lower triangular matrix and an upper triangular matrix. And in doing that, we have some approaches that we use the Kraut method, the Doolittle, and the Koleski, where our matrix is positive, definite, and symmetric. But in this lesson, we talked about when our matrix and when we want to use the Doolittle's method. So for that one, what we do is that we set the diagonals in the local triangular matrix to 1. We find the matrix matrix multiplication and we just use the quality of matrices to do comparisons. And we end up getting our values for the L's and the U's. Then we are done solving the question. So this is just an introductory lesson to the um, do letters method. So in our next video, we will solve an example with it and you really understand it very well. Thank you very much.